Hi everybody, I'm Chip Johnson and I've been coming to Crossroads for four years. Uh, well, I was about three years old uh, that I seem to remember that I, when I asked Jesus to come to my heart, you know. So it was, I had a great childhood because of him, you know. Uh, and there's no question, that it, I mean, I just all I ever thought of is I grew up, you know. Um, but I was the prodigal son when I was about 10. Um, he asked me if, if I'd be, I was on my front lawn, my dad's front lawn, and I remember looking up at the sky, and I used to love watching the clouds, and he, he spoke to me and asked me if I'd be his minister. And, you know, being 10 years old, all I can relate to is my church that I used to go to, which was a dead church, you know. And uh, they preach a little half-hour sermonettes, two a day, and I, all I could think of was, do I really want to be a preacher? I mean, I couldn't stand going, one, one service is like long enough, you know. So I couldn't really say yes to God. And, and, I, and from that point on, I could see my life going downhill. Uh, by the time I was 13, I was um, drinking uh, beer, you know, one can to get me drunk, you know. And, and I, I started smoke. I take it back, I started smoking cigarettes when I was 13. Actually, I think I started drinking too. But anyway, <laughs> so long ago. Uh, but my, my life went totally downhill, and I was rebelling against God, uh, no question, at that time. Um, by the time I was 19, uh, actually when I was, take it back, I was 17, I started smoking pot and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, got kicked out of the house. I actually left when I was 17, hitchhiked to California. Came, I stayed out there for about a month, uh, and then hitchhiked back um, when I was... 18, I remember, I remember being out there, and I remember God saying to me, come back, come back to Jesus, you know? And I'd be rolling a joint, you know, and, and uh, thinking to myself, no, 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 I just want to have all the gusto I can right now out of life. And that was a constant thing, you know? You know, I looked around, and life was horrible. I mean, you know, darkness, I mean, if there's darkness in your soul that comes out of your eyes. People would, you know, if I would look at old pictures, you could see the darkness, you know? Um, even the trees were gray. They weren't pretty green anymore, and the sky wasn't pretty blue. It's just horrible, you know? And I'm sure some people can relate to that. Um, but he, uh, remember, I was stoned out of my mind, okay? And, and when you get stoned, it lasts for days. Matter of fact, when, you get, when you're straight, you can't function because you're like spacey, you know? So as soon as I asked Jesus if, to take me back, I was straight instantly, instantly. Um, since that day, I've had a hunger to read the Bible, I mean, on my own, not just, you know, in church, Sunday school class, you know, like, you know what I mean? Uh, and I just had to know what, what God said, what Jesus said. Can you name one specific time when you felt the power of God here at Crossroads? Yeah, last Sunday. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it, every time you come, you know, come expecting, he, he, he meets, he doesn't, he doesn't dissatisfy, you know.